Hi, good evening, everyone. I'm Tanika Arora, moderator of the session today from Shiksha.com. Welcome to the webinar, guys. Uh, we are here with Sai Kiran, who is from Voxin University. Hi, Sai Kiran. Hello, Kanika. Hi, everyone. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, yeah. Great. Uh, so, guys, as you all know, we are here to discuss about admissions and placements at Voxin, along with that, the courses which are being offered at Voxin. And definitely, last but not the least, we'll be also discussing about the career and transitional journey of a student at Voxin. So, welcome to the Voxin University webinar today. And uh, without taking much of your time, I would like Sai Kiran to give a brief introduction about yourself. And I would request uh, all the attendees till the time he's just uh, giving an introduction, request you to please start posting your questions under Q&A tab. Whatever doubts you have, whatever queries you have about Voxin, Sai Kiran will be dealing with that. Thanks a lot. Yeah. All right. So uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Sai Kiran Kadari. I am 25 years old and I'm currently pursuing my second year MBA at Vox University and specializing in uh, marketing as well as operations at the same time. And, uh, and I'm hoping to you know, help you guys answer, answer any of your queries. Great. Welcome here. And thanks a lot for a lovely introduction that you gave. I hope we'll be having more and more doubts and more and more attendees uh, to discuss about Voxin today. So to start with, I think like Asmita, Harmansh, Harshit, Mabel, Arushi, you have any queries, please guys go ahead with the doubts under Q&A tab. We are waiting for your questions. Till the time, I would re request you to just share about the admission procedure at Voxin how to go about it right so the admission procedure first uh first of all um if i recall correctly when when i was getting admit, uh, admitted to Vox university they take gmat scores cat scores as well as their own uh Vox in aptitude test scores okay. so you go through that then afterwards there will be uh, an uh, an online interview with two of the faculty members of the respective school that you're joining in Voxin. Uh, which lasts about 45 minutes to an hour where they get to know about you, uh, your interests, and whether you really know uh, uh, in the area that you're going to get into. Like, do you have previous knowledge? Which is always helpful when you're starting out your MBA journey. Okay, uh, great. Thanks for sharing this information. So we have a question pouring in. The question being asked by anonymous attendee is about the internships. What kind of internships are you guys offering? Right. So when it comes to internships, our placement self works very hard from day one. Okay. okay. Uh, and getting in touch with companies uh, of very reputable cal caliber to help students, uh, including myself. I recently finished my internship. And uh, it's, it's a brilliant experience, to be honest, because not only do they help with the internship process, they also help you with how to... Uh, crack the uh, interview questions, how to, uh, you know, appear well, you know, be well groomed. And uh, also what you should do in internship and how to get the maximum value of your two to three months that you will, you will be spending during the summer months. Great. So what kind of internships are they offering? Are they paid internships? Yes. All of them are paid. Okay. They are paid. Fine. And uh, like, which companies are they offering for the internships? Basically? Right. Uh, internships, the companies, they really vary. Okay. So there is Arvind Fashion is one that I recall correctly. Deloitte also came for internships. Yeah. So did ba Bajaj Finance yeah. and uh, the company that I worked with, 24 Mantra Organic, and then Pega Systems and all many reputable companies have, uh, have come forward for the internship offers. Wow, that's great to hear about it. And highest package in Voxin that's being offered? Highest package. Uh, from the 2021 data that uh, is available to me right now, the 2021 is not available yet. Uh, the highest package offered was 16 lakhs per so, annum. Okay, great. 16 lakhs. Along with that, I would uh, like to know about the lowest as well as the average packages, because I hope students might be interested to know about it and about the placements as well. What kind yeah. of placements are there? Is Are there 100% placements being offered at Voxin? 
yes the, the placements uh they do you know they the as soon as you join you are pushed towards placements you're pushed towards you know being well groomed as i mentioned before and being uh, having enough industry knowledge so the, so that as soon as you step out you're ready for it and as uh, I'll, I'll go one by one starting with uh I don't really know about the lowest, but the overall average has been 7.9 lakhs per annum. And the top 20% average has been about 11.7 lakhs per annum, the top 20% of students. And when it comes to be a placements, they are 100%, yes. But wow. students, since they have, since everyone has different needs based on their backgrounds, right. some might choose to opt out of placements and you know either go with, ahead with the family business with the acquired knowledge and, you know, Further, further their family business, or maybe they want to start their own business, be an entrepreneur, uh, thanks to Waxin's uh, uh, Trade Tower, which is uh, our incubation center that helps startups. Uh, I am really glad to know that there are 100% placements being offered at Waxin because we have seen that it's written there, like somewhere on the websites or maybe on other platforms, but that is not the fact, but if a current student is telling that, so it's a great thing providing 100% placements. And again, uh, are the companies different than internships for placements? Yes, yes, okay. yes, absolutely. So for example, when it comes to companies that come for uh, placements, yeah. you, you can expect companies like Dell, again, Deloitte will also be there, Aditya Villa Group, which also appeared for in, uh, internships, by the way, and then KPMG, Amazon, Panasonic, all big big companies okay and uh, next question will just come up uh, it is uh, by mabel he's asking about will they allow to use labs in Voxin? oh yeah absolutely uh, there there are different kinds of labs there's a mac lab that uh, most of us often use uh, for example whenever we, we want to work on a, one of our club activities there are different clubs right. or whether you want to uh, work on a magazine that's being published in-house or the one that goes uh, to other universities uh, you can also use it for uh, you know your project works your um, how should i put this your any any kind of work that you want mm -hmm. uh, in case your personal computer does not work or you know has mm -hmm. some issues mm -hmm. so yeah labs can indeed be used great so uh, what's the average CTC offered in BTEC CSC? Any idea about that course as well? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I really don't have any idea about BTEC. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a relatively new uh, school of technology has been opened, I believe last year or maybe two years ago. Uh, it's relatively new, so I don't really have much information on that. No worries. So uh, also an anonymous attendee has written this. I would request you to please visit Shiksha page for the same. We have all the updated information about the average and all like the CTCs being offered under different courses and programs. So I think it might be of great help to you again. Okay, coming to the next question, can students studying in school apply for internships? And can you please explain what kind of qualifications are required to be an intern in Vox? Um, when you're uh, to the per particular person, you can re respond in chat if you can. There is uh, okay. studying in school, as in you're currently in like grades 11, 12, that school, or because uh, the, the question's a bit confusing to me, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, uh, can you please just brief? It's like he's from 12th grade, 12th grade, yeah. So I don't really know if you can intern at Waxin. But for uh, applying for applying internships, right. you know, internships are basically for you to start out your career journey. No matter what, whether you're twelfth grade, you're graduating from twelfth grade, you're in your undergraduation, mm -hmm. they are a means to help you understand how the corporate world works and how intricate, you know, each and every uh, part of the uh, how should I put this? Yeah, the corporate world. You know how uh, like we know the consumer perspective. We know consumer. Okay, so uh, one more question from Mabel. Would the BTEC course in Voxen worth it? Since oh, you just said it's been introduced two years back. Yes. Ultimately. So um, while I do not know much about BTEC, I do know that, you know, there's this course in MBA called MBA BAAIML, that is Business okay. Analytics, Artificial Intelligence, and Machine Learning. Okay. And the professors that teach those subjects are highly, highly uh, experienced, both in terms of the knowledge area, as well as the 
corporate world okay, okay. When, it, when it comes to that and the same professors are responsible for teaching as well as hiring other professors for the btech course okay. and from what i've heard uh, from what i've spoken with with the btech uh, students uh, from what i know it seems to be really worth it and on to top it off where in telangana you know a state that's highly known for a uh, good quality btech courses so yeah definitely it's worth it so mabel i think you got your answer and it's really positive so you can go ahead with the same coming to the next question being asked by raman he's saying what to take admission in btec csc so we have students basically looking for btec course in your college how many seats for this course and fee structure and scholarship since like uh, uh, raman i would like to tell you that saikiran is from mba background but still if he could help you to a little extent he will otherwise you can please refer to the shiksha page link and it will help you out give you all the information about it yeah saikiran up to you yeah so as for many seats again i i'm sorry i cannot help you there mm -hmm. and fee structure and all you will have to refer to the works and admission team for that i'm pretty sure there will be more than i to help you right okay so uh, harmansh wanted to know about his bba data science and ai worth it absolutely ai and especially data science is the next best thing in uh, the corporate world then within yeah. the next 10 years data science jobs would be worth you know quite more and they'd be paid more and you'd be well it's a well respected definitely. position definitely for sure so yeah and since you're starting it in bba you're getting a a very good head start and with the professors that are there they can help you achieve you know a, a grasp grasp the concepts way better so let's say you want to do uh, you want to start your uh, career path as soon as your bb is over and you don't want to go to mba it's yeah. still worth it you can get quite good of work experience come back mba build up your uh, uh, skill base your uh, even more okay and then yeah so yeah in my opinion definitely worth it and what i think is ai is mostly in demand now oh yeah absolutely yeah, especially yeah. with web 3.0 coming around and yeah. you know yeah. internet of things and everything exactly. definitely definitely okay. is there so harmansh that's a very good option you are looking for maybe you can go ahead with the same thumbs up to you and uh, dikshita harshit mabel nandan suren we are looking more uh, like from your side just answer Uh, yeah, guys, you can ask anything. Definitely. Be it the campus life, be it uh, you know, okay, of course, careers and uh, placements are definitely the main goal. But yeah. you will be spending your time, be it two years, three years, in the campus. It's a residential campus after all. So right. if you have any question pertaining to that, feel free to ask. I'll answer to the best of my ability. And this pl platform is basically set for you guys. So please come up. We'll be happy to answer all your doubts. and sai kiran is just waiting for your queries guys up like till the time students are just thinking about their doubts i would request you to please share what makes learning different at woxen comparatively right so when you when you normally think about learning mba you right. just think of like okay you there's a fat fat textbooks you have to go through them you have to ace your exams get a high cgpa you know right. and do well in interviews however Waxen has uh, been graciously offering every one of our students okay. the ability to ha have international seminars with people who are currently in the field working, high reputable CXOs. Okay, okay. where you know we can, we have one webinar every week, every Friday, Friday Saturday, depending on the availability of the guest, mm -hmm. and we get insights from the industry. we get so many insights about the tech industry so many insights about the logistics how you know what kind of evolution is going on right now and mm -hmm. over there and we also get uh, in person lectures guest lectures from uh, ceos you know cfos and everyone right mm -hmm. and they are like uh, they are uh, i'd say they open up your perspective more than just simply concepts because your yeah, concepts are fine but you need to learn how to apply them you need to learn how they will be used you need to learn how a ceo thinks you know how a company thinks and thanks to the, the ceos coming forward for example uh, if i recall correctly uh why pardon me just give me a moment if i yeah ashok ramachandran uh, you know okay. for, from uh, uh, i'm sorry this is one uh, okay. great company that produce uh, that manufactures lifts you know the lifts that 
take you up in our elevators. Okay. Right? So he, um, uh, could he please look up the company in the meantime, because I'm blanking out on the name. Uh, his name is Ashok Ramachandran. He's a very well renowned CEO. Okay. And uh, he, he came for a talk. Nitya Birla. Yes. Right. So he came for a talk, right? Okay. Yeah, and we all of us we are giving huge insights, you know, right. on questions like, uh, is multitasking worth it? And you know, okay. uh, this kind of uh, uh, leadership style is it really viable? You know, we get insights like that, and we also get insights about his company, their hiring requirements, you know, what they are looking for in students. So when CEOs come like that, you have the opportunity to ask them, right. you know, you have the opportunity to network with them, you know, be in the good rapport. And you're already one step ahead of everyone. Great, great. So a CEO from Aditya Villa is coming. Well, that's a great thing. And I hope such type of webinars uh, will be here by us as well. And uh, students and aspirants will get to know more about their leadership skills and about like more about their progress in life. How did they achieve their uh, position absolutely so yes great it will be great so we have a question from harmansh here in the q a about the cultural events in Voxen university and please highlight something about the fests there in Voxen and the clubs as well apart from that he is asking about the student exchange program for bba that happens right so i'll start with the student exchange program it okay. does exist uh, if i recall correctly there are quite a few bba students Okay. who are, are doing student exchange program in France and they're, they're currently back now back to campus but yeah uh, provided you can afford and of course Waxen will you know waive some fee to help you you know to help it make more affordable because right. international education especially student exchange programs are a great great uh, learning experience not just education wise but culturally because you can broaden your horizons okay yeah so student exchange program for BBS, they do definitely happen. So yeah. And as for the clubs, uh, yeah, so there are multiple clubs. Again, if I'm talking about school of business uh, perspective, right. there's a marketing club, there's a HR club, operations club, okay, finance club. And then, you know, there's sports, sports club as well. Okay. And there are many, many other clubs. There's a, there's a certain club that handles many clubs specific for certain events for example there's a indoor gaming club okay you know stuff like that so yeah and cultural events they do happen if i recall yeah there was a great halloween event that happened last year uh you know and whenever there's for example ganesh chaturthi and if you're if you're in the campus you can definitely celebrate it really well i heard new year's eve was great as well including christmas celebrations so okay. yeah you can definitely expect great cultural events in Watson. Great. So uh, there is a mix of everything and you will get an overall development. Don't worry, guys, about like uh, the cultural and other college life. Side what, there is one advice that I'd like to give uh, regardless okay. of where you're pursuing. If you have an opportunity to learn something that you may not get the opportunity to learn later, don't be afraid to take it because you may never know if, it, if it's not useful. You can be like, OK, fine. You know, at least I tried something new. But most more time more often than not it is definitely useful so if you have an opportunity to learn something great go ahead at least that's what i would suggest thanks a lot for such a great tip and i hope it must be useful for uh, these guys so alavarupu you have joined us i would request you if you have any question please go ahead and post it we will be happy to assist once again so we have one question being posted by anonymous attendee once again. What are the residential facilities? So can you highlight something about the hostel part? Right. So hostel, uh, you know, you're 24 by 7 uh, water. Okay? okay. And you can get, for drinking water, you can both, get both hot and cold anytime you want. Right. Uh, there's 24 by 7 electricity available. So there's no issues there. And uh, as for rooms, there, there are two types of rooms available, AC and non-AC. So you know, the choice is up to you. And other residential facilities include, of course, the canteen, uh, where you go ahead and eat. We call it the oval because the building structure is in the shape of an oval. Okay. There are two floors right now uh, for the canteen. Okay. And there are two other paid uh, food facilities. Uh, one is near the reception area right. called the Rise, which is open from morning till evening where you can just uh, you know it's, it's a cafe essentially you can order coffee whenever you want you know yeah. whenever you feel tired to re-energize re yourself 
and there's another paid uh, food facility in the residential area called Blue Embers, where you can get, let's say you don't like food, particular food or your it, it's not to your taste in the canteen that day. You can just go ahead uh, to Blue Embers, which is open till 2 a.m. every day. So okay. yeah, anytime you're working late on projects, you know, pulling an all-nighter, you can definitely go there, grab a cup of coffee or some nice hot food, and you're set. Other residential facilities include the sports complex. You know, it's great. It's really, it's really good. There's a uh, cricket place. There's uh, you can play football over there, tennis, and you know, kabaddi. You know, lots of great sports. Uh, it's still it's still being uh, developed. There's a huge cricket ground under construction right now, so you can expect that uh, whenever you join. And there's also a three to, uh, four floor library, one including a ground floor, uh, which is uh, usually open till two a.m. And uh, uh, anytime, again, when it comes to projects or any resource that you need, library is the place to go. Wow. Again, uh, very good informative thing that you just shared. So uh, are the hostel fees included in the college fees or like is it different and how much it is? The college fees, uh, the, uh, I mean, of course, when you're uh, segregating it, they will be separate, you know, okay. but the overall, when you're paying for uh, when you're paying for your stay in Watson, when you're paying for your program, uh, uh, the yearly fees, the hostel fees are included in it. It's in Yeah. Great. And do you know anything about the design program at Watson? Any idea about that? Hmm, I don't really know much, but other, other than the fact that it is a four-year course and the students that I've interacted with, design students, they are learning so much more than what other design uh, programs that I've seen. They, they go for uh, tours to other places, museums, and uh, you know other places where they can in get inspired, they can learn more on site and, you know, and basically partake in projects that can help further their career in design and arts. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're, they're forced to build their own portfolio as soon as they join. So that as they keep on learning, we can add to the portfolio and not waste time to, you know, adjust it separately yeah. where, when it comes to recruitment. So, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, so, uh, would like, again, all of you to ask any doubts if you have. And till the time you're just thinking about the questions in your mind, I would like to tell you that still, if you are left out with some of the doubts, you can refer to Shiksha page link and uh, of your Voxen University, you will get all the information and you can just check out this webinar itself. It will be live streamed on YouTube. It will be posted there itself. Apart from that, I would request you all and would like to share something on the screen uh, that we have ongoing webinars for different courses and colleges. And you can just ch check that up on shiksha.com, the, all the trending webinars. Apart from that, uh, like on the Voxin University page, you can see below there is a column wherein you can post your doubts, guys. Here. <coughs> Excuse me. So please post your questions here and all these will be answered by our panelists. Any other tip? Would you like to give to the students or any suggestions from your side? Any suggestion? I mean, again, since uh, it's a, a whether it be BBA, Bay Design, MBA, whatever, make sure that every more uh, you know minute of your the time that you spend there is worth it. Again, I'm not saying to be a quote unquote padaku and always be in the books, you know, and score high. Your social life is important as well. So what I'm saying is ensure that. You, you balance it in such a way that you don't regret either of your choices. You know, it's a balance. You cannot tip one way or the other. Yeah, that's one thing that I like to say. Just don't slack off on your studies and don't completely ignore your social life either because networking is as important as studying. Great. Thank you so much once again, Saiken. So guys, as I told you about the webinars, and I think we have no more questions or we have. Pranjal, Suren, Nandan, if you have any more questions, guys, please come up and post your queries. We are waiting for the same. Apart from that, I would like to tell you that we are up, coming up with a webinar next, like on 8th of August on how to make a powerful impression and would like you to join. So guys, please join this webinar. I've shared the link. How is the social life? This is being asked in the Q&A tab. Your social life depends on 
well, the people you surround, to be honest, because uh, the people at Voxin are multi, you know, multicultural. They come from all of this, different states, okay? They come from different backgrounds. So the social life, uh, again, depends upon you. If you're an introvert, you know, you, you can still have a good social, uh, social life and walks in. You can uh, f- meet a lots of like-minded people and you can also experience how differences, uh, you know, how different people think and think from their perspective, be broad-minded. Overall, yeah, you know, social life at the end of the day depends upon you, but it's great, at least from my experience. My social life is really good. I would like to thank you all. We'd like to just end up the session here itself since most like all of the questions have all, already been sorted out. So thank you so much, Sai Kiran, for joining us over here. And Glad to be we, Yeah, thanks a lot, dear. And uh, I would like to thank all of you just to come over and sharing your like experiences and asking for your doubts that all have been sorted out so it was a great session being held so thank you so much we all will be just looking for more sessions like this and guys please go ahead and check out more webinars trending this week or next week on shiksha.com thanks a lot thank you guys take care don't forget to like share and subscribe our youtube channel